Hello, this is Will Cole 100, uh, returning with Mission 7 in Tropico, roughly where we left off last time. Uh, we have a Pan Caribbean Summit about to complete. We are handily winning the election, and we're still waiting for people to go from the low class jobs, or the low training jobs, to the high training jobs. So let's get another Pan Caribbean Summit going. And yeah to do, except wait for people to get jobs. We have 27 free job positions, and we have 12 unemployed, so we pretty much just got 12 people trying to go from point A to point B in our education planner. There's no need for fraud. We've got 107 people waiting for me to 10 against. I will win. Uh, as soon as the pan is done, I'll probably, or as it approaches down, I'll probably accept the chemical warfare um, mission to get the extra value on the chemical warfare. Uh, pressurized storage tanks increase job quality. Uh, impact, uh, yeah, let's let's restrict the access and let's improve the job quality. And then we just gotta wait until the workers actually get here. Heavy machinery. Increases production by 20%. We need to be connected to the electric grid. And I'm not quite ready for that. Do we have enough journals? We have three journals, which means we are ready to go to government, start building our guard stations. So we're going to put one over here, one over the docks, and one over by the plantations. And that should provide us enough soldiers and enough generals to uh, keep the military happy for a bit. Uh, what are the other ways? We've got the National Day and Hold on President Day running, so we can get the Terminal Flame, Golden Statue, and Grade School buildings. Those will increase the uh, rate that our pan crew summits are created. And we're up to 152 people. Uh, we actually have more unemployed than we have free job positions, so I think it is time to increase our industry. Some form or another. Okay, so we've still got the education bottleneck, so I'm not going to immediately slam away more that sort of job array. I am going to put in a couple more coffee plantations. Also a logging camp here. We've already got the uh, environmentalists slightly on the NIFT side due to our mining, so there's no point in not going with logging as well. Let's get the uh, logging camp right up, right away. There's a few improvements that I want to click here. I want to get the station and the tool shop going right away. Okay, so enough Presidente, enough pre preparations. Presidente, it's time to increase the size of our standing army. As you can expect, the U.S. and U.S. are have offered help us once again. My advice, however, is that the truly want to strong, independent, Caribbean power. We must avoid the superpowers and their influence. So the goal is to have 20 soldiers on the island. Uh, so the, USS, the USA would just give a free high school. Well, I've got one. I'm not worried about it. The USSR will give free soldier skill. I'm not really worried about skills. So I'm going to accept no need for help. We have three soldiers. So this is, we have education bottleneck. Um, three would be here, three would be here. Three would be over this area. Four at the palace. So I really just need a bunker. So I can go ahead and plop a bunker down somewhere. Government bunker. Boom, there's a bunker. When all those get built, we'll be good. There'll be enough places for soldiers. And all will be okay. So I'm getting a little carried away with trying just to build the economy up quickly. Okay, so we have 17 unemployed, 46 free job positions. So we have the jobs for our workers now.
And we have a dock, which is sending a lot of money overseas right now. Good to go. Yep. Okay, so we got another mission specific one right here. Okay. To stay competitive in the world trade, we must offer most updated product positive. Currently, weapons are at the level of World War II technology. We must develop new and better weapons. Okay, yeah. Just an Academy of Science? I'll go ahead and do that. Education. Academy. I need a Minister of Education. Hopefully, we should be able to get without having to hire a bro. Yes. Not just a good one, but we can get one. Get into Foreign Affairs as well. Cannot get a Minister of the Interior because we don't have a police station. Foreign Affairs, the uses our development aid. Now we have education, let's get sensitivity training. And the literacy program. We're building an Academy of Science. Education, Academy of Science. We are at DEF CON 5. So let's accept the uh, build a chemical plant. Infrastructure? No, it's uh, industry. Industry, chemical plant. This requires power. So I have to set up next to our new station down here. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna rush the chemical plant. Uh, he's worried about crime and safety, so it's probably about time I put him in the police station. So we're back to DEFCON 4. Uh, USSR is willing to send three of its finest generals to help the Tropian army comrade Pesante. Uh, I would just need an army base. I'll actually accept that because an army base is something that I should be building anyway. Let's get a pan Korean summit going. I need to wait until the next boatload of exports go out before I build much more. Unemployment should be fixed. Oh no, we still have unemployed. Still waiting on that, uh, that bottleneck. Four over twenty soldiers that we need. Um, oh, I currently have too many tasks that I can't accept. Yes, I have, I have DEFCON, DEFCON 4, so the DEFCON is always taking up a slot. So you're one, one plausible mission short on this uh, mission, no matter what happens. And then I have the Pancreas Summit that I'm trying to run as much as possible, so that's on top. And I got the soldiers and everything else piling up. So we got 60,000 just waiting for the boat to arrive. Okay, so as soon as we get people get on the docks, everything will be good. Okay, well we've got plenty of unemployed. Oh, we're probably actually approaching the level where I can probably switch to skilled labor only. So as to keep the population from ballooning too rapidly, because we're we're actually gonna start noticing population growth from births at this point. Okay, something completed. What completed? The thing here. Oh, the uh, Academy of Science completed. Okay. So we have enough exports going out. So I can go in here. We can get a army base. You, I want you on research grants. To lower our blueprints. Okay, day of the tapir. The successful operation carried out. Minister of Defense was successful. After spending five days in the wilderness dressed in a tapir costume. The minister was finally able to get closer to the rebels camp to learn when the next big tank will take place. Unfortunately, on his way back, our minister was wounded while running from way the local hunters and circum part of the island's wildlife. In fact, the next planned rebel attack will not occur. Okay. One fewer rebel attacks is not a bit bad thing. I'm just going to rush this so we get those uh, three generals in nice and quickly. The DEFCON is going to jump up to 5, and all, all is going to be good. Uh, we still have 33, un, un, or 33 job positions and 26 unemployed. Um, and we have a homeless problem. So we've, we've I've pretty much got enough people on the island. I don't need to be having people coming in hand over fist. So I'm going to switch to uh, skilled workers and build more housing. Actually, I also need a police station. So let's go in here, government. No, I just need a police station. I'm not going to bother imprisoning the people. Police station. 
you know, the source of all our crime, which is the massive, massive houses, or massive, massive shacks. So get that tenement up. Uh, we have a garage. Where do I want to put it? I want to put it near a place where we have a garage already. Mm, that doesn't meet on top of it. I'm just going to shove it in here. Shove in a uh, garage as well over here. So that people can get to our houses quickly. Same for and garage. I'm going to build a marketplace across from it. That should be a good start. Oh, you're, you're demanding a cathedral now. So yes, the Panzer, Pan uh, Krugian Summit should complete quickly. And pop it to DEFCON 5 and just be sitting here pretty. Might start setting up uh, coffee farms, or actually, no, I'll probably expand the mining and the uh, weapons factories. So we get more weapons, because the weapons are worth abnormally more on this uh, map. Quick build the police station. Safety is one of the primary concerns for every tourist. After all, no one likes any um, er, likes to end up being mugged in a dark alley. What do you expect here? When you expand your island paradise, be sure to build some police station in crowded, shady areas like tenements, factories, and nightclubs. Oh, we have a power shortage. Make sure. I'll put a wooden turbine here. Or I can see if there's any better places on the island to farm the wind. It looks like the best on the island is 40. Uh, so I can just shovel one up here. So that'll provide our power requirements. That'll get the uh, chemical plant actually working again. We got reasonable happiness. Pictures and happiness across the board. Religion's a little low, entertainment's a bit low. Environment's not particularly happy. But our housing is actually on, on the up and up. Environment is probably not going to improve much. Uh, religion, we're going to put a cathedral in. Actually, it's price helping us is not being a problem because I only have one clinic. You know what? Across from the garage would be a good place to put a key. I'm going to quick build the cathedral so that the uh, religious people become happy once more. So we go to our factions. We'll see environmentalists are not happy because of the high pollution, the logging, the mining. Uh, the religious, they all improve because I just built that cathedral. Probably get the uh, pollution a little lower if I get uh, the garbage compactors on these, which means I need more wind turbines. Yay! It's waiting for exports, waiting for builders to build things, waiting for soldiers to be hired as soldiers because still got that education bomb, Mac. 35 jobs, 20 unemployed, so yes, we need to get 20 people through an education hurdle. And it doesn't look like it's a college education hurdle, it looks like it's a high school education hurdle. But not bad other than those uh, small shortcomings. Get our wind turbines going. So we can get the garbage compactors running. Prove the happiness of our or improve the happiness of our environmentalists. Environment is at 30%. Factions. Environmentalists are never gonna be happy because we got logging and mining. Uh, they are happy that we have enough garbage disposal facilities. And we have high pollution. Which is their their main main drag on them is the high pollution.
I'm gonna go and what is it? Industry. What was it? Food resources. Yeah, Horn Hornicultural Station. Something to Hornicultural Station. We're going to set it to organic. Actually, trees are too or so slow that the wonders of chemistry have made them grow faster. Um, instead of big strong plants, spray with stuff that makes hair growing your chest. Regardless of gender, we can make wimpy plants that grow have that have been grown organically. This is a new world craze in the price of all fruits. Oh, that one effect. I was thinking it would affect my uh, affect my coffee production, but no. Uh, use genes from apes, humans, and porpoises next. We can grow corn twice as fast as your corn. Right, so yeah, let's. I'm gonna go GMC. Improve the corn output. I was hoping I could actually improve the, our, the value of our uh, coffee, but I couldn't. So I can do messes test, but we got plenty of money sitting around, so that's not an issue. Oh, we actually don't have a lot at the docks at the moment. We have like a traffic jam or something. Eh, not, not really. Could get worse. Let's all the housing in. Go back to economy. So we've got 73 open housing slots, 12 homeless. Well, <laughs> if there's five times the amount of homeless in housing, I'm, I blame the homeless people. You, you could squat in a house if you have to, but get into a house. Uh, free job positions, 27. Okay, so our, our bottleneck's starting to fix itself. Maybe. Yeah, so our high school's running at maximum efficiency. We have the literacy program running, which is speeding it up a bit. Let's get that built. And yeah, we're, we're making money. Hand over fist. We're just waiting for people to get through high school. Now let's take a look at how much uh, Swiss banking out money. We've earned uh, 71000 in Swiss banking out money. 6,000 of it through slushing through the customs office. Received a crumpled note written very bad English person. We have set up, we have set you up the bomb. All your buildings belong to us. What you say. Uh, so I can lose respect to the nationalists, who I don't care about, sadly. Um, dismantle all the machines. Uh, I'm, I'll, I'll just pay the 3,000 because we've got lots of money sitting around. Let's get, let's get a couple banks going. That uh, offshore banking, slush funding, and slush everything. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do three banks, and I'm gonna slush a lot of funds. Then we get more Swiss banking money. We're, we're actually successfully staying in the positive of this mission. We got a short, short, soldier shortage. It's the mission that we're sitting on is waiting for soldiers. And we're actually starting to run out of unemployed people to educate. Because students don't count as unemployed. Now let's make it so we have no unemployed and that we're just stealing from the low class jobs. Let's go, resources. Let me get another logging campaign. Be a good place for it right here. A little running camp, let's get another mine in. Whoops. <laughs> The last moment it does a funny turn when I click the button. Well, now that we have an interesting road, one you can't go in. And I think I'll also rush the uh, mine. So 
we get power to the mine, we can do some improvements. Both of them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're entering, entering into the era of power. No other reason than we have money and why not spend it. Speed up our production. Everywhere. So we now officially have, oh, we have officially have one employed current, unemployed currently. Which shouldn't last for very long. And we have a traffic jam traveling through the middle of town now. Surf up, awesomely powerful tsunami wave is coming towards our shores. Oh, no. Not a tsunami. There goes the neighborhood. Random lines on the tsunami wave there. So we have an ugly oil tanker, which I'm just going to leave there. One dead person, two destroyed buildings. Yeah, it's ugly oil tanker around in the middle of nowhere. Who cares about it? We could lose a garage. So we build a garage, quick build it. So that our guys that run around and carry goods around don't have to uh, walk back. And we lost a turbine. Lost that turbine. And quick build that as well. Let's get a road. Going around. Can't get around the mine that way. I was, about to think, I was thinking about putting a road a long way around to try getting more uh, traffic around, go around town instead of through it. But I don't appear to be able to uh, successfully maneuver a road through this tiny little area. Unsuitable for construction. Oh. Yes, our uh, wind turbine network is back to full efficiency. Everything's working again. Uh, we still have a shoulder shortage, so I think it's... We got 51 free jobs and none of, no unemployed. Our high school is actually starting to uh, literally run out of people to educate. Yeah, we're starting to run out of people to educate, so let's let's go from uh, skilled workers back to open door. To almost 10,000 Swiss bank account money from the slush farm. Well, we've actually earned a nice uh, 80,000. So we got our banks taking college educated males. We need high school educated males to uh, work our Soldier places. Oh no, rebel attack, which means the DEFCON has gone down. No. Which immediately rises by 34, because we've got 34 loyalists on the island. Nice. It'd be really cool when we have 100 loyalists, we just push the button and it's done. That's when the level just becomes too easy. Oh, the loyalists want me to ban elections. Well, 57% uh, of the population will vote for me just because I happen to be liked that much. So I don't see a reason to. Well, we've got plenty of money. I just need people. We just need people. People on the island. Rebel attack. They're probably attacking this mine over here, which is why it's taking so long for everyone to get there. Maybe. Maybe they're attacking this one. I don't know. Where are the rebels? Yes, I want to view the fighting. Yeah, they're attacking this one. And my army of uh, 19 people have, in exchange for one casualty, have defeated the four rebels. So either the rebels ran off or got killed. Let's go to defense. We can't issue this armed conflict during an armed conflict. We don't have an armed conflict. Anyway, let's uh, modernize the military. Let's 
Yeah, foreign affairs. Yeah. Papal visit. <laughs> Raise the respect of everyone. Okay, um, economy tourism. Raises the prices of factory produced goods for three years. Let's, let's do an industry ad campaign. Just so more our exports are worth more. Than I, so I make more money from getting them exported. I'm doing very special the same time. Not, not particularly important. Respect to the intellectuals is just easy enough to keep high. I don't mind uh, not hurting the religious for it. Food from people. You know, the people's people seem to be able to feed themselves properly. You know, I'll do it anyway, because then increase food quality. Education. Uh, overall productivity is lowered by 10%. The edict has been active for at least three years. Oil loyalists to guarantee to vote for you in the next election. It doesn't raise the number of loyalists, which is what I would like. Well, uh, we've got money sitting around. Let's start building things that raise loyalists. Landmarks and beauty. The eternal flame. Set to me. Or set set to loyalists. I'm just gonna quick build that up. Uh, landmarks and beauty. Golden statue, which again also raises loyalists, I believe. Yes, yeah, so I'm just investing in stuff while I'm waiting for people to come. And anything that doesn't involve actual employees can get built right now. And we're going to uh, mausoleum down here as well. This actually takes two, two people. Though. No, we're actually down to 10,000 money, so nope. Since Rebels are fond of destroying your mausoleum, why don't you booby drive it further? Everything will go down in pieces. Rebel pieces, that is. Rotating gracefully. Okay, so we need two more soldiers and more money, because I've actually gone ahead and spent all the money. A little aggressively. I don't know, we're in debt. First time in a long time we're in debt. Got some duty evasion. Uh two percent from every export will go to the Swiss bank account. Is he going to raise the 3% when they got there? Not not me. Not enough generals. Wow. I would say this needs to be remedied, but we've already got six. Uh, missile, the missile equation. President Day, the balance of power in the world depends upon the number of nuclear missiles in the U.S. and uses our process. The U.S. claims that it is lying behind only 200 ICBMs, and the U uh, claims that the USSR has close to 2,000. Our information is that the Soviets have about four missiles, right, including prototypes. Both superpowers offered to set up a nuclear program in Tropica, but first we need a nuclear reactor. 25% uh, reduced building costs or cheap uranium. Uranium is expensive. Uh, President A, your island's proximity to the USSR makes a perfect nuclear program. Position several missile sites in Europe aimed at our territory. We now help you do the same to them. We need a nuclear reactor to research and missile. Once a nuclear power plant is ready, the USSR will have the price of uranium you need. That the DEFCON supposedly for a while saying six. That would be good, but I don't think that can happen. Uh, financial aid, not enough to run us into the green again. It's not good. Uh, elections without speech. We've, we've got all but 35 people on the island voting for us. And that's of the people that can vote. There's another like 70 or so that can't even vote. Okay, boat, we need you to expect, uh, export stuff. So few people, people using the, uh, the roundabout, we're, <laughs> we're getting traffic down. I forgot the time how long this episode is. Oh, this, this one will just be two parts, I'll try to finish it up quickly. Okay, so we have money now. Lots of money waiting at the docks. Uh, let's get ourselves a nuclear power plant. Human resources, government, new infrastructure, nuclear power plant. And I'm actually going to set it to rich uranium because we've got enough power on the island. I'm 
Okay, now we're again in a bottle ne money bottleneck. We're going to go into the negatives again because the boat didn't bring enough money. Well, there's one way to fix this uh, bottleneck. Let's launch the U.S. nuke <laughs> off, the, off the shoreline. And uh, we'll, we'll start generating a new Pan Caribbean Summit, which immediately jumps to 50. And the next take will be done. We'll be active to DEFCON 5. Lord of War, have three <laughs> three weapon factories, lots of switch banking out money, yes! I, I will accept this, this this new title with, with much, much fame. Okay, so we, we got the, the lovely tone of nuclear weapon going off in the background. Okay, so we get this gap here to shift the stuff onto the boat and give us our money. Okay, so we need two weapon factories to be produced really quickly. Weapon factory, weapon factory. Can I put them down here by the dock? Yes, this this will get most of stuff past our bottleneck if I can build it down close to the dock. This one I can't. I'm going to build this one over by mine. So we're going to allow imports so these things can be completely full. I'm going to quick build weapon factories. So we get the order war and lots of money in our Swiss bank account. So we've actually almost made a quarter of a million on this map alone. Which is, which is I like this. There's no need for fraud. We, we've got, uh, we almost got ten times the amount of people voting for us as that voting against us. So there's no need, no need. We have a nuclear power plant coming along. We are at DEFCON 5. Uh, we won the election, so that's good. The nuclear power plant completes. Uh, the nuclear reactor is ready, President Day. We can start researching a nuclear weapon now. Our scientist tells us that given enough resources, they can develop an island to a continent blast missile, or ICBM. <laughs> No, it's an intercontinental ballistic missile. Sure, you, you can say island continent blast missile. A friend of the USSR has offered to sell us blueprints for such a weapon if we don't wish to waste time. Uh, research the nuclear program each month will gain research points for each profession on the island and enrich uranium work mode. I'll just say accept. Actually, no, it's 50,000, never mind. I was about to say, well, if it was only 5,000, I'd, I'd purchase it immediately. But no, we'll, we'll, we'll research it the slow way. Our, our, our genetically modified plants here. Oh no, we're under a rebel attack. Which is easily uh, sweeped away. It just lowered the DEFCON. Except... We'll, uh, we'll complete another Pan-Caribbean Summit. What's our employment situation? Uh, we actually have more employed than free job positions now. So that means you need to go back to skilled workers. I think it's time to start canning. This is small, so I can shove this down by the docks. Put these down by the docks. For whatever reason, it does not want to fit in there. Okay. Just set up a couple canneries. Set a small cannery row down here by the docks. Or the dock. We only have one dock at the moment. Okay, that should provide enough jobs that we're not crunching. You know, we'll do another missile test. Uh, we'll piss off the US this time. No, we're all the way down to DEFCON 3. Oh no, oh no. Nuclear research goes up. Oh no, the volcano is erupting on the far side of the island. No, not what I wanted to do. I just wanted to 
stop looking at the volcano. Okay, we have stopped looking at the volcano. All is good. If the research is continuing, we have finished the conference. We'll just arrange for another one. Oh, we only have 500 goods on the dock, but we're already up to like 8,000 in export revenue. Somebody tells me those, those goods were weapons. And we are in the green. Once again, we are in the green. Do they use any power for this stuff? Yes, they do. Or well, the fruit, the uh, flash freezer does. Let's get the production up. I got the power, let's just use our power. Uh, well, you're on your terrain mode anyway. Okay, so we got we got plenty of power to run all these at maximum efficiency. We just need to finish build. Okay, we're back to DEFCON 5. So it might almost be worth just detonating my nuke off just for the extra money. You know, I think I'm going to put another dock in. I'm going to put a second dock in. So we get boats arriving on a little bit more frequent basis. Infrastructure... Infrastructure dock. For some reason, it's not letting me build any farther south than this. So it's going to have to go... We're also going to have to go like there. We get fishing docks as well. Fisherman's Wharf. Yes, let's get a couple of fishermen's docks in. Uh, because it'll get canned if we run short on coffee, or at least provide food, because, well, no point in importing it if we can just cruise it on the island, right? So nuclear research is uh, almost complete. Going slowly at DEFCON 5. Population is increasing. We've got plenty of free job positions. Nothing, nothing to worry about. Research is complete. So the next mission is going to ask me to actually build that nuclear silo. That's <laughs> for sale. Uh, my wife and horse here developed a nuclear program. Presente, I wish you that. I'm, I'm always handy to have a nuclear weapon to use fizzle. I already pocketed a dozen of my finest chemicals for it. Or if you prefer, a quarter of a million dollars. I guess the Americans won't be very happy about a deal, but it's only because they are jealous of my many wives. So he wants to make the program. I actually don't have a problem uh, supplying it. So as soon as I have the money, of course. Yeah, just detonate another nuke. Go into the CPI in a moment. Get another pan curve and summit going. While we wait for more money to roll in from our docks. Okay, so I've earned a quarter million on this map. Solid quarter million. I was actually expecting to lose this mission once, but seems I was lucky enough slash unlucky enough not to do that. We didn't actually earn that much money from that, I don't know. Oh, we got 7,000 on this dock. Well, let's also get these guys on allow, allow imports. Because that will actually get them working efficiently. Okay, what do we need for a nuclear program? I believe that is under government. No, it is under... Somewhere in government? Oh, yeah, there it is. 72,000. Okay, so I need another boatload of goods to go out. Before we can provide our uh, camel loving buddies with nukes. Ah, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shy away from the nuclear test this time. Okay, we have a boat arriving. We should. Hop well. So it's almost got a thousand amount of goods on there. It's probably like all, all coffee. It's not very uh, cost-effective exports. Whereas our weapons and such like that are uh, too great. You know, just pay the ransom. Okay, 
have to wait until the dock workers get back to the docks. Yeah, we probably have a... Yeah, we have a housing problem, yeah, probably. That's our housing situation. Pop back in here. Oh, well, no, we, we technically have houses for our homeless. They just haven't moved into homes. Accusations. How dare you attack us? Don't deny it. We know you ordered the assassination of our president. We have caught your assassin, a man named Johnito. He confessed that he is a tropican who was sent to you, was sent by you to kill our president. What do you think you accomplished this time? Start a nuclear war and make even more profits in your deals? You are despicable. Um, yes. So, so the final event in this, this mission has begun. It has appeared that a, uh, an assassin sent by me, technically, has uh, killed someone. Okay. President of the U.S. is spending spreading lies about you to say you've ordered the assassination of the former president. The U.N. has begun proceedings for your capture and trial. They are accusing you of a number of thing, other things. All lies, President. The U.N. has sent agents to rescue you. They will not dare set foot on our soil, but sooner or later the U.N. will send troops. Uh, we have escaped, we have to escape quickly. We need to build more docks to visit the U.N. agents. Build ten docks. Ten docks should do the trick. But but I want the Swiss bank account money. <laughs> Get me my, uh, get me my money, please. Where are these dock workers? Get to the docks. Alright, so I need to build eight docks, which isn't terribly difficult. Granted, I don't have the money for it, so I need more money by boats. Dock workers get to your positions and actually offload the flippin' boat. No, it's 5k sitting at the docks waiting to be offloaded. It's 10k. This what? There's 100 100k here, 50k the other one. Please, please get it on, on, load onto those boats. Infrastructure. Okay, I need only six docks. Cued. Actually, yeah, six docks. Two, three, four, five, six. Two more. I want that dock in. I need that dock. That's that's number ten. Okay, dock's queued. Uh, I do actually want the nuclear program. But I can't form the nuclear program. Uh, further exported money. Can we actually get dock workers to the other one? There's, there's 100k sitting on the dock waiting to get exported. Or dock just uh, transport himself to the docks, please. Oh, we have have this lovely massive traffic now. That's why nothing's getting back. Okay, the first the first uh, dock worker is about to arrive. And there we go. The the dock worker has successfully transferred money from the boat to us. Okay, government. Why is the Minister of Defense? 
I don't have Minister of Defense. Government. Nuclear program. I want that built now. Because I want my monies. Okay, that gives me the Swiss bank account money. So I got the total of earned a half a million on this map alone. Yes. Okay, now to formulate my escape plan. Even though I will no longer have any Swiss bank account money. The docks are complete. I can leave. That is the end of the mission. The last few days were frantic. I managed to escape, narrowly avoiding UN forces sent to capture me. It cost me everything. My fortune, my renown, and even my name. Now I am a nobody. I still can't believe Mission Perkins thinks that I had anything to do with this last the US president. Hopefully my friends and allies will come will help me clear up this misunderstanding. Okay. So as we stand at the end of the mission, we have a swift bank account of zero because, well, we lost our name and all our funds. We have no fame, because again, we just we can't pretend like we were our previous self. Uh, we do have a campaign score though. So we have finished the mission. Well, I am Wimpole 100 If you enjoyed this and uh, want to see more, please leave a like and a subscription. A like so that I know you want to see more in the subscription so that you are notified when more is made available. Until uh, next time, this is Wimpole 100 And if you have any comments on how to make this or any other videos better, please leave them in the comment section. Until next time.